time. Today, Mrs. Eugenia Manful is going to show you how easy it is to prepare watch A. Mrs. Manful is a Ghanaian national. She lives with her family in Tema, a town which is located 25 kilometers east of the national capital, Accra, and works as a chief revenue officer under the Ghana Revenue Authority. She loves to cook traditional dishes from her country for her family and friends. Ingredients 2 cups of rice 1 cup of red beans or black-eyed peas or any kind of beans or peas 4 dry sorghum leaves If you do not have sorghum leaves, you can use 1 teaspoon of baking soda instead Salt to taste 10 cups of water Preparation Wash and soak the beans in water for 4 hours In a saucepan, pour the water and add the beans. Cover the pan and bring to a boil. Wash the sorghum leaves. Cut into pieces about 3 inches long. Add these leaves to the beans. If sorghum leaves are not available, use a pinch of baking soda. Remove the sorghum leaves from the beans after 5 minutes. Continue boiling the beans until they become tender. Wash the rice and mix it with the beans. Cook on low heat for about 15 minutes till rice is cooked and all water is evaporated. Serve the dish with boiled eggs, fish or chicken or beef stew and pepper sauce. Wache was earlier a popular dish in northern Ghana, but has now gained a national status and is loved by grown-ups and children alike. It can be prepared at home, but in Ghana, it is more popular as a street food. It is also eaten in Nigeria, Togo, and Benin, where it is prepared in slightly different ways. In Nigeria, we have it as rice and beans. We call it adalu in Yoruba, and there's no much difference in taste. The only difference is that we don't have separate stew like this. Normally, most homes prepare this rice and beans together because of the children, because most children don't like taking beans separately. So in order to encourage children to eat beans, when you prepare it together, it's okay. Many children would like to take it, and it's very nutritious. It's, it's like the in thing now. And there's this popular spot in Accra called Antimuni Wachi, where on weekends it's packed. You see all sorts of vehicles parked there 